Yo guys, today, today I'm gonna do a GeoGebra tutorial for you guys. So this is gonna be how to use GeoGebra for the first time. So let's get started. So here we have the tools bar. So tools bar does, you know, you can save your files if you really need it. You know, you can import it, export for you guys. You can do new windows, so edit, you know, wanna select all current, you wanna delete some stuff, you know, redo, you know, wanna copy them. View, you can have spreadsheets, you have CAS graphics to 3D designs, you know, 3D graphics keyboard, you know, you can have you know, you have an input bar. For options, you know, you can change your language, font size, you know, you can label stuff and a lot more stuff. I'm not sure. Tools, I'm not sure, very familiar to, but I'll do a tutorial on that the next day for you guys. So here Windows if you want to have a new Windows to get I can, a new window bar so you can do other stuff at the same time and here help so, you know if you want to ask if you have help for anything you can go on YouTube you just have help on GeoGebra what you really need and or you can just type them a nice email and only write and so you write back so I'm gonna delete everything I have made right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an example for you guys easily but first I'm gonna show you some stuff so here as we can see we have a tools bar we got the algebra view we got the graphics view and we got the input bar and then we have the sidebar so today i'm going to show you a very small example oh wait first i'm going to go to tools but i'm going to show you the tools but what there there is so here we have the movement tool you know you want to move some stuff you know you just use that you have the points to the lines to the special lines to right here we got the polygon lines we got the circle and arcs to connect uh like uh, connect connect section tools we got measurement tools transformation tools special objects tools action object tools and general tools so now let's get started you probably will have this at the start oh wait uh, this so if to have a better to have the grind the grid I'm sorry terrible English right there but never mind so here the grid the grid you just want to click here you just click graphics right there you just click it and just come, just come down and you just press on the grid and your X's and stuff like that so let's get started I'm gonna do a small small thing I'm gonna do a quadrilateral kind of thing ish so let's get started so what do you want to do is that you want to click on points you just want to do four points you can really do them anywhere so like anywhere you know and now so what do you want to do now you wanna join them together so you're gonna go to lines you're gonna click down here you go to segments so now you're gonna click on A you wanna do an alphabetic order so that's a lot better easier so you wanna do there and after you go there bam okay never mind after you're gonna go to segment tools again boom and after you click on segment tools again and goes back to A so that's not too bad so that's what we did this is the first part so let's get to the second part right now so you know now we want to have how do we how do we get midpoints so what do you want to do in midpoints you want to go to points um, the two uh, tool bar you know to toolbar. you want to go to points and after here we have midpoints or center but you want to go on pin points and you just want to click anywhere on the sides in um, E F G and H right there so that's pretty cool you know to have a better view of the midpoints what you want to do is go on the polygon tool and I click right there you want to do this in an alphabetic order so you want to click on the polygon right here and bam you click alphabetic order F G H N E so there's a better understanding of the quadrilateral that we've done here so yeah so you, you just have to put in alphabetic order and that's it you know that's how I do stuff you know this is a very useful you know you can show your teachers maybe like if you can do some exercises instead of doing on your paper you can just do it on this so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll be putting the link of the website down below so i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you next time with another tutorial and peace booyah